Mhm. Mhm. For the cash price and interest. No, no. There's no other method. Why do you want to ha to have another method? Well, you can use this other method. Why are you looking for shortcuts? <laughs> now, can we give items which are given? What is given? From the question. So we have what? Down payment. Which is how much? How much is the down payment? $10,000. Is it? What is here? Okay. And then what else? Installment. So you need to give what has been given. Installment. Amount. For each year is how much? How much dollars? Hey. Okay, I take you back to the question. It is how much? Twenty two? Twenty two thousand each. So that is it. $22,000 each and then the period it will take how many installment period of installment how much is it in dollars or oh, in year <laughs> In years, it's forward. Four years. Now, the cash price. Ninety thousand what? Dollars. So, what are we looking for? So interest is not there, is it? So we need to actually identify what is our interest. Now, using the formula, how do you get interest? Interest equals to what? Higher purchase price minus the cash price, is it? Now, what is the higher purchase price? How do you get the higher purchase price? We say it what? Down payment plus installment times what? The period, is it? Or you can say period of installment. Okay. Now, can we get the higher purchase price first? How much is the higher purchase price? Down payment is what? 10,000 plus installment $22 times what? 4. So what is our higher purchase price? What are you saying? Are you serious? What is 98,000? So we are getting 98,000. So that is our I what? Yes, I purchase price. Say it loudly. Don't fear. No one will discipline you. 
we remove uh, discipline in in the schools eh? so you have the right to say now what is the interest so interest so we are now looking forward interest equals to what I have purchase price which is how much $98 minus Ninety thousand. So interest gives us how much? Huh? Eight what? A cows, animals, or what? Eight eight thousand dollars. Now the next initiative is to do what? So the next initiative is now to identify interest for each year. Interest for each year. How can we get this? We use what? The reverse year ratio. Reverse year ratio. So how many years do we have? So it will be 4 is to, is to, is to, is to 1. So that's reverse year ratio. First year, second year, you reverse them to 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, how much is the, how much is the interest for the first year? So first year interest, hey, one over, huh? hey, first year, it is four, four plus three, seven plus two, nine plus one, so it's over 10, you guys. Why are you removing 8 times what? 8,000. So what is the... What is the interest for the first year? 3,000 dollars, eh? Yes, not animals. Second year. Second year interest. We have what? 3 over 10 times 8,000. What do you get? 2,400. 2,400. Third year. Interest two over ten times what eight thousand, which is giving us what which is giving us sixteen thousand eh? dollars. Yes, sixteen hundred dollars. Fourth year interest. How do you get that? 1 over 10 times 8,000 which is giving us what? How many dollars? Hey, are you serious? 800 dollars. Now, that is how you get interest for each year. Then the rest now you now take this information to the journal and the ledger. Is that okay? Any question as far as the preparation of determining interest when you are given other item but except interest? 